What is up guys and welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hamstang and today we'll be doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two very interesting phones. In the first corner over here we have the Galaxy A52s 5G and this is the third version of the A52 lineup and inside here it does come with the Snapdragon 778, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner over here we have one of my favourite phones in 2021 and this is the Poco F3 and inside here it does come with the Snapdragon 870, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 56 gigs of storage as well. So before we start anything, let's check out the temperatures over here. In the room we are in, it is at about 25.1. Let's check out the phones over here, 33.5, here 33.7. So very, very similar indeed. So what we are going to do is of course to boot these two phones up. So normally Xiaomi phones including the Poco phone do have a very fast boot up. Let's see over here if it can beat up here the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G. Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% for this test. Alright, so looks like pretty similar but I think maybe the Poco F3 was just slightly ahead over here. Now let's check out the calendar. Okay, can't load the widget. Okay. Let's go here, still not yet ready on the A52S, whereas over here in the F3, it is ready to go. So as I mentioned, both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% and in terms of the screen over here, both of them are running in at maximum brightness and in terms of the refresh rate, both of them are running in at 120Hz. Both of them are also connected to the same Wi-Fi network and also all other forms of connection will be disabled except for the location for this test. So before we start anything, Let's check out the temperatures over here. 34.3 over here. 34.4. So, yes, very, very similar indeed. So, all right, we're going to start the test over here. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, looks like over here with the Poco F3, it's done with the A52S 5G right. Slightly behind it, I would say. Let's go on to the next one over here. Pokemon Go. Okay. And as we can see here, we have the Game Booster here. Whereas over here, they do have their own gaming mode. Okay, and again, the F3 does win this one. No surprises there at all. Let's go on to the next app over here, YouTube. Okay, about the same, I would say. Instagram. Okay, I think about the same on both phones. Next up here, one huge app, PUBG Mobile. Let's see which one will go faster. Okay, it looks like the F3 has pulled ahead a little bit over here. Okay, so Poco F3 done with the X with the A52S 5G just right behind it over here. All right, pretty interesting. Okay, next up here, Chrome. Okay, F3. Next up here, Facebook. Okay, about the same, and then let's go on to Shopee. Okay, next up here, YouTube Music. About the same, let's go to Settings. About the same, maybe the F3 will just slightly ahead. Manchester United. Okay, as you can see there, big loss over here. We move on, bounce back FC. All right, seems like over here with the F3, again, let's go on to Netflix, again, okay, let's go to the camera app, okay, it looks pretty similar over here, let's go to TikTok, okay, about the same, I would say, let's go on to Twitter. 
Okay, about the same as well. Let's go on to the Play Store. Okay, so pretty much the same, I would say, temperature wise. 36.3, 36.4, so pretty much similar on both phones. Let's check out the RAM management over here. Over here, held out very well. On the F3, poor RAM management over here. Okay, let's go to Pokemon Go. This one does take the cake, whereas over here, it did refresh, so back and forth over here. Let's go to YouTube. About the same, I would say. Let's go on to PUBG Mobile. Okay, this one interesting. Both, lead, both have held up pretty well. Let's go on to Twitter. About the same. So I think RAM management on both of these two phones are pretty much the same. So now let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.1 and over here. 36.2. So now let's move on to the next test. All right, so next up here, we're using InShot for this GPU test and I'm going to export this into 4K at 30 FPS. So one, two, three, let's see which one here would come out on top. You would expect the F3 with the Snapdragon 870 and also the better GPU processor to perform. But looks like over here with the A52S is actually cooling ahead. All right, let's see go all the way and looks like it's done here with the A52 S 5G while over here with the S3 is surprisingly taking very long. All right, so that is it. All right, so now we're going to run a Geekbench test on both of these two phones and temperature wise 36.2 here 36.1. So very, very similar indeed. Let's close up all the amps behind and open up Geekbench here. Let's see. In this test, who would come out on top? So one, two, three, let's go. So I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Do keep in mind that the battery is at 98% here at 99%. Both of them having almost a similar battery over here, 4,500. Okay, so we are done here with the Poco F3 and still it hasn't reached the 1K mark, but nine scores over here, 988 single core score and a 3003 for the multi-core score. Let's give some time here for the A52S to finish up and of course no surprises over here that the F3 with the Snapdragon 870A flagship processor beating out over here one of the highest and actually it is the highest end mid-range chipset, the 778. So let's give it some time over here and it should be done and in terms of score, pretty impressive in terms of the single core score, 770 and a multi-core score of 2885. Alright, and now let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.3 and then over here as well. 36.6, so not much difference at all. And now let's move on to the next test. All right, so now we're gonna run a 3D mark test over here. And again, I will see you guys when we do get the results. Over here, the battery has gone down to 97%, here at 99%. Okay, so we are done here with the F3 and the F52S 5G is actually just right behind it. But as you can see from the scores here, massive, massive difference. And in terms of the FPS as well, you get an average of 24.9 and over here only 14.9. And yes, to be honest, when these two were both running, you can see that this one is definitely smoother in terms of temperature wise. 36.5 is still very respectable over here. 36.6, so still not too bad. Let's check out the front over here. So yes, pretty much similar on both phones, but as you can see, in terms of just the raw numbers, the F3 does pull a hit. Okay, so now we're going on to the slingshot test, and again, we're gonna see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so interestingly enough, the A52S 5G did finish faster and gave a maximum score over here of 6372. But over here with the F3, it's just maxed out over here. And in terms of the FPS, as you can see over here, it's actually a massive difference over here, 70 and 42, whereas over here it's about 40 and 25. So it's about half of the FPS over here on the A52S 5G. And in terms of the temperatures over here, 
37.9 and over here as well 37.4 so in terms of just everyday performance to be honest they are quite similar but in terms of the numbers here we can see a massive difference so yes if you guys did enjoy this video and also want to see more of these type of videos do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and see here on youtube at dr Tech. so that is it this is dr Tech. stay safe take care and wash those hands